look at these lines inside of triangles and what happens when we have more than just one of them. So let's work at perpendicular bisector. Um, let's make three perpendicular bisectors. So we're going to go with a circle with center and radius. Um, I just want to make three circles. I don't want to make six. I'd have to make one at B and A to do one over here. I'd have to make one at B and C to do over here. On you know that bit too much. Um, so my biggest side is five point six two. So if I make all my circles size three, they will all intersect because they will all go more than halfway. So let's just make three circles, size three, and that way. They, over, they all overlap at some point in time. I need to find those overlap places. Uh, let's actually color our circles to make some things stand up. Nah, I don't want to do that. Uh, da, da, da. Select. Change color. Let's just get them colored. All right. Now, yeah, we don't need point D. I don't know. Da, 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 da. Find the intersection of all the circles. Intersect here and these two circles. So E, D. I just want to move things around a little bit. Okay. So E, D is an intersection. So let's draw a line through there. Boom. And let's actually make it bigger. And let's color it something. All right. And now we also need to get that intersection for the B and C circles. And that is F and G. So make a line through F and G. And we need the intersection of the A and C circles. So click on A and C. I know this starts to get a little confusing, especially when you're doing it on paper. And that's why you having colored pens would help. And the interesting thing is that um, all three of those perpendicular bisectors cross at one place. Um, let's find where that place is. So let's find where these two lines cross. The software only finds where two things cross. It can't find where three things cross. Um, and there is a point at J. That's actually called the center of a triangle. It's one of the centers, and some people think there are many centers. Some say seven, some say nine, some say eleven. We're going to deal with you know three or four. Um, the interesting, interesting thing about that center, it is the center of a circle, and that circle hits all three corners of the triangle. Now that's actually very useful. Yeah. Uh, so if I know if I am there, I am the same distance to B as I am to A as I am to C. So if I want to put a cell tower that will hit city or location A, B, and C all with equal strength, um, I got to put my cell tower at J. Yes, and it doesn't matter how we, what we do with this circle. Interesting thing, though, is that center, so to speak, actually doesn't have to be inside the triangle. So it's called the center of a triangle. It doesn't have to be inside. Because it's actually the center of a circle that goes around the triangle, the circumscribed circle. Circle meaning to go around, like circumnavigate the world, meant to go around the world. Um, so that is how you draw a circumcircle is by finding the circumcenter, which is using all three perpendicular bisectors.